Let's begin at five with the support for neighbors still suffering through the aftermath of historic flash floods earlier this month. Representatives from FEMA were in Chicago today going door to door to assess the flood damage. Here's NBC 5's Christian Farr. We're here to, 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 to meet the demands of the challenges and the damages that you've experienced. So. Mayor Brandon Johnson walked the streets of Austin where weeks ago flooding impacted so many in this community. I woke up to a flood on my birthday. 55th birthday, I said, wow, happy birthday, Jimmy Blaine. Austin homeowner Jimmy Blaine is still trying to recover from flooding that destroyed his water heater and other items. Blaine had the chance to talk to the mayor, along with state and federal emergency workers who toured this neighborhood in order to assess the damage. Government don't care, you know, but I'm glad to see y'all out and that y'all do care. You know, that's the most important thing, but yeah, we need help. That's, that's a lot of money. Between June 29th and July 2nd, severe storms flooded out basements and viaducts in Chicago and did similar damage in neighboring Cicero. Mayor Johnson wants to make sure that his constituents receive some sort of aid. We need every single resident in the city of Chicago who has been impacted by this, uh, by this storm uh, to call 311 and to make sure that there's a full assessment of their damage. The Illinois Emergency Management Agency and FEMA joined the mayor's tour of the west side. Both agencies also visited Cicero and other areas impacted by the flooding. We have lost everything. Residents hope this leads to some financial assistance so they can clean up their homes. We just like everybody else around here. You know, we, um, we, uh, we was waiting on FEMA, they showed up, and, you know, we'll uh, help them help us. The IMA hopes that the level of damage that all the agencies saw here today will lead to the federal government approving some aid for these Illinois residents. In Austin, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.